Have you ever spent any time talking to a Nobel laureate? Now, most of the time we think of Nobel Prize winners and we think of chemistry or we think of a book or we think of something of that nature. But you know, they offer Nobel Prizes for economists. And Robert Schiller is a famous economist, Nobel Prize laureate, because he has studied our economy for years and years, not only historically, but even recently, he's very contemporary with regard to his views of the market. Now, he's so well known that he has a, a measurement that's called the Schiller PE ratio or the Schiller cap index. And this, in a nutshell, values the stock market and whether it is overvalued or not. And I take a look at this all the time, and as investors, you should keep an eye on it as well, because it begins to tell you over the long term whether the stock market, based on historical performance, is overvalued or not. And I got to tell you, Robert Schiller's comments send a chill up my spine. And he says this, and I want to quote him. He says, quote, the market is way overpriced. It's not as intellectual as people would think, or as economists would have you believe. I mean, it's very typical that retail investors sort of follow the bandwagon. Now, you as a client, you're not following the bandwagon. If you've got the right information, you're going to make the right choice. Robert Schiller says there's been only one time other than now that the case Schiller or the Schiller index has been higher. And I'm not talking about 1929. I'm talking about the 2002 dot-com bubble. That was the highest point of the Schiller P.E. ratio. But the level it is right now is at the 1929 crash. Think about that. Whenever we hear 1929 the year, we don't think good thoughts. We think people in soup lines, we see black and white images, we see the stock market going down and tanking. 1929 was an inflection year from an, from an investor standpoint that we really don't want to experience again. But here we are with the Schiller P.E. ratio as at the same level as it was right before the 1929 crash. Now there's not a lot of volatility in the market and maybe you as an investor says, ah, oh, that's never going to happen again. It can't happen to me. All of the knowledgeable central bankers and government employees, they know what they're doing. They would never let that happen again. Well, history is not our friend when you think that way. We've been proven many times that as investors, we're going to get crammed down when the market moves. And you do not want to be trying to get out of the market when it starts to move. The Schiller PE index is just one measurement. It's not the end all to be all. But when you're looking at the non-volatility that's in the market, meaning the lack of fear that's in the market right now, and yet the Schiller, Robert Schiller index is at its highest level since 1929, I would take note. I wouldn't be asleep. I would stay alert. I would stay awake. I would evaluate my portfolio. I would make sure that I'm diversified and that I'm hedged against a big potential drop in the market. I hope this helps uh, you and your investment choices. Again, the Schiller PE, take a look at it. It's information I think you'll find valuable. Thank you.